Hello there from my uh, car play channel once again with another video for you guys. Uh, this time it's uh, on it's on the lovely new Pewe Airport compatible for X-Men 12 which was launched uh, just a few days ago, about a week ago. It's the newly rendition of JFK by uh, Numbus Studios. Some good features about this software which hopefully makes this product a better buy for you guys. We'll take a look at uh, the website see what it has to offer, possibly terminals versus real life and uh, how well this uh, performs. But it is 29.95 on the xpen.org store compared to 24 on Aerosoft uh, by uh, Drake Designs. product has uh, terminals uh, with uh, 3D interiors and uh, people. I think uh, that's a very good thing. And the others would be uh, 4K textures with PBR and as you can see most of it is uh, PBR and I think uh, that's very good that um, standard nowadays textures are in 4k so that's pretty good and we'll see how that is uh, lots of cars and uh, other features as well you can see here it has a native uh, explainer jetway system with custom highly detailed jetways so we'll have a look at it as well and see how it is uh, one of the things that catch me is water and snow effects so we're gonna test that out and the Canarsie approach guidance system. I'm not sure if I'll do an approach or I'll probably just take a video of, of the approach lights and see how it is. Okay. So we're inside of the terminal and we can see that there are passengers. There are static passengers uh, all around. The texture is not a great deal as you can see but it uh, does look Okay, knowing that at least you have a terminal. Uh, let's look at let's take a look at the glass. And see that we can see the passengers from the outside. Not too bad. The terminal uh, but the uh, jetway it does seem a bit standard but uh, it's not too bad rendition. We can see that the texture is a little bit low in quality. And you can see the markings are pretty awesome. Now uh, they're uh, done. They're done okay. I would say that the textures it uh, looks okay. The, you can read the the wording on it, and uh, the the stand number it does look good. Not too bad. A bit clear. And see and see the, the terminal. You can see the passengers from here. But uh, it does look a little bit different. It does have ground clutter, as you can see. A lot of ground clutter. Not too bad. You can see the launch. Yet again, the texture is not really the greatest. But we have it nevertheless. Again, we see some passengers here. Static passengers yet again. Another bad, not looking too bad. We'll have a look at the lighting and see what it looks like when the sun is down. So this is what it looks like when the sun is down. With all the lights. So this is what it looks like when the sun is down. With all the lights. And immediately we can see that it's a bit laggy. So you really need a very good system for this. So this is how it looks with the airport terminal lights. It does have some land side animations. You can see a train. There is a bit of it around. There is another one. So it, it does have a bit of landslide, land side uh, animations around. So now we're going to change the weather and see what it looks like. We'll change the 
precipitation actually we leave the precipitation but we change the temperature to about minus five we put the runway conditions to about snowy and icy we'll probably change the altimeter and uh, let's see what it looks like and here you have it uh, this is what it looks like with some ice as you can see we have some icing both on the runway and on the tarmac as well and a bit on the outskirts as well but really nice not too bad of a rendition i think one of the more interesting things people tend to look at is how well does the terminals or the airports stack up to real life so i have the maps here with me and uh, this is the image it's from uh, 2024 that's map data 2024 but uh, somebody can correct me if this is indeed the actual map so i have it in the background the airport here and we're just going to look at any little details so for example i see they have this terminal here which is terminal 8 by the fact we have these two gates here sorry and uh in the um maps uh, i realized there is um there is the terminal here uh the, the gate here and this one up here as well which i believe is also in the sim as well up here so we, we do see that to some extent it does have it does have most of the things so we're gonna see if we have this as well okay so let's and it is right here uh, my system is not the best so it's not going to be loading as best but you can see that it does have it indeed so we're at terminal number four which is the international terminal and we're looking at the tower and it does look quite uh, the same to be honest in the simulator what else can we see So it does have the long uh, terminal all the way down here for terminal 4 which is also shown up here so it does tend to have it does seem to have pretty much the entire layout and just the only thing is just the concrete uh, markings uh, we have a different concrete markings here so um, in let's see if we have that in the actual map and you can see that we have some white concrete here so they have put the concrete markings uh, the white ones in some places to show a bit of the rendition so I, I do think that's okay you can see here and the white long strip lower down which is right here so that's not too bad the ground uh, markings are the concrete the concourse <laughs> nice to see that the Canasi approach lights is in fact working and going all the way down to the airport really nice that the rendition is there well, what do you think so looking at the performance of the airport since i'm away from uh, the terminal at the moment it's uh using a 3.6 uh on my system for the gpu uh just about uh, 63 degrees so let's see how it performs when it's uh, closer towards uh, the terminal uh, if any changed at all at the moment it's still 3.6 so i'll change uh, the Light in and see how that performs as well. So we see now it has gone up to about 3.9. I'm going to say roughly uh, 4.0. So you go inside of the terminal and see how it's like inside of the terminal. Don't mind the, the slight lagginess, but uh, we're just going to check to see how it performs. Still at 3.9. If my system is just about 16 at almost a uh, full uh, settings and seeing the graphics and 
not really much full but more or less uh, medium settings and it's running just about 16 at the moment so it's, it is uh, definitely power hungry for sure all in all it's not a bad airport i do like the rendition of it nevertheless the terminal the performance it does uh, seem to be a bit of an issue enough but like i said the performance is all depends on the simulator but as you can see it takes about four uh, gigabytes um, in terms of vram so you can make a decision for yourself what do you think once again don't forget to subscribe like comment if you see fit if you think this is a very good effort for you for the price that is just a little bit shy off from uh, what Drake Design has to offer. I still think it's a very good airport. Alright, see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.